going to try baby back ribs and the slow cooker. I've already removed the uh, thin membrane of skin, commonly known as silver skin. You just take it and you peel it all the way back. And now Dave is making our seasonings over here for our dry rub. And more back with you later. And now we're seasoning it. Dry rub. With dry rub. And the ingredients we used were onion powder, garlic powder, um, brown sugar, paprika, brown sugar. salt, pepper, the usual. Yeah. And we sprayed it with some uh, Lip liquid smoke, smoke to, so it would have that smoky flavor. But some people like to put the water in the pot first and then squish the, squirt the, um, liquid smoke in there, but we decided to put it directly on the ribs. We use a spray bottle. We we use a sprayer. Okay. Yeah. We don't pour it out. Yeah, we bought a spray bottle. Or we used an old bottle that had a sprayer in it and then... Actually used a, uh, the sprayer that the uh, lens cleaner came in. Yeah. In glasses. Yeah. All right. And... This is this is pretty good for now, and we'll be back. I gotta wash my hands for the fourteenth. I'm gonna have dishpan hands by the end of the day. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness! That looks good. Looks like a crown roast. Yep, and that's how we're gonna put it in, just like that. Boop, beep, as Leah would say. Okay, here's an update. I have a craving for a cheesecake. So, I'm going to make a different type of cheesecake this time. It's going to be a cherry cheesecake. So, I have my new pan that I purchased. Uh, actually, it was a gift from my daughter. And um, I lightly grease the ring here with Crisco and line the bottom of it with uh, got parchment paper. Your daughter in law and her husband. And in here I have a cup of graham cracker crust. It calls for Oreo crust, but somebody ate all my Oreos. I don't know who she could be. And so instead I use regular graham cracker. I put a tablespoon of brown sugar in and some very, very soft butter. And now I'm going to mix it all up and make my crust. You don't need... We are now you don't pouring... We are now pouring the crackers into the pie crust. And next, we have to press it. And since I can't press and hold the camera at the same time, I will be back in just a few minutes. Hold it. So we have a cheat sheet here. We can use a glass to press. So Dave is doing that for me. Just like so. And then the next step is to put it in the freezer for about 20-25 minutes. Let it harden up. And while you're doing that... Um, while the doing freezer it, or the fridge? The freezer. And, and while that's in the freezer, that's when I will start to make the ingredients for the filling. Is that right? That's right. Poopsie. Hi. And it's perfect. So now I have two eight ounces of cream cheese that I am going to bring and put slightly soft in. It may not have been room temperature enough, but okay. And the sugar is in there. I'll be 
back in the next step. So this, this is actually what I'm after, but I did not have raspberries as it called for, so I used cherry, and I used, um, actually, cherry pie filling, and I put a little pectin in it so it would thicken up. So hopefully this will turn out. It's an experiment. So now I need to blend my... I'm at this step. Oh, can't focus in. All right, I'll be back. So in here now I have added my tablespoon of flour and my quarter cup of cherry jam that I made. And now we're going to blend it. But I can't do two things at once, so I'll be back. Next step, after that has been whipped up, I have to add one, two eggs, one at a time. And it says be careful not to over whip, so that I won't. Okay. Do it. Second egg. All right. Now it's time to retrieve the crust. So I've added a cup of water. I put my cheesecake in there. Here's what it looks like. All right. And I covered it with foil to keep the condensation to a minimum. Center it. And now I'm going to put my... I love how it sinks. But only if you get it right. I'll be back. All right, I finally got it to close. So I am going to set it for manual. And it says 25 minutes. Manual. 25 minutes. All right. So we'll be back in a little bit, and we'll see how it looks. Okay. A two-hour island tour is 25 bucks a person. Megan's Bay Beach, 